Pour for Trump at gmail.com. Send an email to pour for Trump at gmail.com and you'll get an automatic reply with about four, eight typewritten pages explaining why there are poor people who don't think the Democratic Party is really interested in helping the poor especially the poor black people in our country. Poor for Trump. Sounds crazy, huh? But it's not crazy. Einstein sounded crazy when he came up with his theories because all the other scientists thought he was wrong. And then one day, things happened that he predicted would happen that everyone else said couldn't happen. And when they did, overnight he went from being a crazy guy to being a genius. So, Donald Trump is not against uh, Mexican people or Spanish people. But he is against any Spanish person, Mexican or otherwise, who comes into our border over the Mexican border, into our country over that border, when they're not, when the law says they're not allowed to do that, and the minute they walk across that border, even if they're the nicest people in the world, they're criminals because they just committed a crime in this country. Because we have immigration laws, and we can change those laws. They don't have to be the way they are. If we want more. Mexicans here, that we should change the laws. But we shouldn't let 10 million of them come across the border in 8, 10 years and then say, all these poor people, they're going to have to go back and leave their 5 million children here that they had while they were here. But the children are grown up or close to it, or they're not, it doesn't matter. The children are citizens of the United States, and they're not. Because they broke the law. How'd it get here? They didn't have to break it, but they did. And so, you know, the Democratic Party makes the laws. Trump doesn't make the laws, didn't. But he has to obey the laws. And so does everybody else except these Mexican people who come across the border. Or... Whoever else the people are that comes to go into Mexico and then come here from Mexico. So, all the people who wanted to come here from Mexico and signed up and got on the list and are trying to immigrate legally, they're all losers. The day that all the ones who committed a crime against us and broke our laws and came here for free and then... Now they're going to get rewarded with citizenship, amnesty, but the people who obeyed our laws aren't going to be let in, or they have to continue to go through nonsense. So when Donald Trump is in the debate and he says things are rigged, this is what he's talking about, this kind of thing. That's crazy that we would reward the people who broke our laws and not the people who obeyed them. But that's what we intend to do. That's what the Democratic Party intends to do. They think that's good. Now, the Democratic Party talks about being uh, wanting minimum wage in the United States and increasing it. But, you know, uh, the things that are being made in Mexico, the people in Mexico aren't being paid minimum wage equal to what people get in this country. I don't know what they get, but if someone gets $15 an hour here, they probably get $2 an hour there. Now, how can there be fair trade? How can any company in this country succeed and make jobs for anyone if they got to spend $15 an hour to have something done and the people in Mexico are slave laborers working for a company as slaves, and they don't get paid a fair amount. And how
How is that fair trade? How can that NAFTA allow that? And what about China? The people in China who are doing, who are making the things that are sold in Walmart and other stores, those people are real slaves. And they're enslaved, and they don't make any money. They live in a, in a, a cubbyhole, and they work, and they go back and forth, and they have every little bit of any kind of a social life or anything else. They really don't. They're oppressed people. Now, the Democratic Party has always supported slavery and oppression of people when it could. The Democratic Party is all about let someone else do the work and let's get the, the money for the work they did. That's called slavery. And the Democratic Party has never been treating people equally. Never. Look, listen to Hillary Clinton the other night on the debate on October 20th. Why, uh, you know, uh, we're going to, we're going to, we should have minimum wage. But she doesn't say they should have minimum wage in China equal to the minimum wage here. And I'll tell you something. If the people in China got 15 U.S. dollars an hour, the things in Walnut would be 20 times more expensive and they would live like kings over there. Those people, they would be rich. They'd be very high class because $10, $15 an hour doesn't go far in this country, but it goes plenty there. Now look, if, uh, if um, Hillary Clinton wants to rob the rich and use the money to bribe poor people and middle-class people and fool them into thinking that Hillary Clinton is somehow magically helping them. But the only way you get... Jo Look, what does it cost to make a job? Think about this. How much money does it cost to create a job? Uh, Donald Trump knows because he's created jobs. Hillary Clinton doesn't know that because she never created a job in her life. She took money from you and used it to pay people to do work. But those jobs didn't last very long and it boosted the economy. And then they were over building whatever they were building and it was dead. And thus they haven't built something else. But this is, this is, this is stupid. That's why Donald Trump said they're stupid. You don't make money by, uh, you don't create an economy by taking money from people who were good at business and successful and forcing them to give it to the government and then give it to people who don't, who are unsuccessful. And they're middle class, they're poor, they can't get a job or they can't do well. Well, t supposing someone wants to drive a taxi for a living. How much does it cost to buy the taxi and get it on the road? A lot of money. Any job in the world, first the person making the job has to invest a lot of money in order to be able to pay someone to do the work and can get some money back. If they don't get money back, how are they going to pay, keep paying them? See, the Democrats are thieves and they're stupid. And they're criminals. But the news media thinks they're wonderful. And you think they're wonderful. They haven't done anything to help this country except take from hardworking, successful, rich people and give it to people who don't seem to know how to do that. Instead of letting those persons learn how to do it and uh, letting people who make work hard to make a lot of money keep their own money. No, we're poor and we're for Trump because Trump, if the things he's saying are done, will create jobs in this country that are long lasting and successful. But in order for that to happen, rich people need a lot of money to create the jobs with. If you take it from them, they can't make the job. Poor for Trump at gmail.com. Thank you for listening.